Ah, en dat is weer iets dat is een E. Ja, sir, en dat is even dus zo met E. Ja, dat is het. Dat is het. After breakfast. After breakfast. Going down the stairs. This is the included breakfast at the Villa de Ambassador. Let's see what they got. Ooh, nice. Oh. 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 Cool. Let's see what they got. Ah. Oh. Some toast. Baguette. Egg. Alright. Let's make ourselves at home. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sitting out there. Though. <laughs> Birds got poop on us. We saw. We saw them nesting. Perfect. This is our continental breakfast. Got some fruit salad here. We boil some eggs, baguettes, strudels, uh, some coffee for the morning. Pineapple juice. We're ready to get the day started. All right. So, what's the plan today, honey? What's the plan? Where are we going? Trocadero. Oh. No, I'm like hearing things as well. Well, there are drums. Wow. So we're on our way to Eiffel Tower, but we're gonna make a detour at Trocadero Square, Garden, whatever. Top of the Eiffel Tower. Video, video. Get out of my shot. Get out of my video. Get out of my video. Get out of my video. No. So we just finished um, going up top of the Eiffel Tower and we are now going to go get something to eat. Yes, we are going to dine next to the River Sand, 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 River Sand. I think indoors because it's yeah. a little chilly. <laughs> it is. It's a place called... Oh, Bateau something? Bateau. It's next to the river. <laughs> 
Let's get out of here. Okay, at the foot of the Eiffel Tower, right there. Yeah, yeah. It is our restaurant. Right next to the room. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, is that Hey! What? Brunch with all you can eat buffets every Sunday from 11 to 3. Isn't it Sunday? At the brunch. Let's see. Delicious, delicious, delicious. <laughs> Hi. We just had lunch, brunch mm. at. Oh. <laughs> at <laughs> yeah. It's right at the foot of the Eiffel Tower and not bad, not bad. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we're scouting a location for our ceremony. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're looking around the areas of the Eiffel Tower right now. All this is fenced off, but normally it's not fenced off, but because of the soccer games, they're um, setting up some special displays and whatnot yeah so all these things that normally are not closed off it's all closed right now so this is going to be kind of tough but we will persevere because we are getting married no matter where we get married in paris we get married in paris all right scouting location on the right is the bridge that leads from chocadero gonna go here we'll we'll be coming for the hotel we'll make a left here on the immediately on the bridge and this view should give us a good angle of the Eiffel Tower, enough to be in the background. But the trees and camouflage, all the fences and all the festivities that's going on. Location number two, reference point is Trocadero. Dirt path coming down is a potential spot. Also above the dirt path, gravel path may be set up right here to get an unobstructed view of the Eiffel Tower. There will be some of the street lights but you know that's not too bad location number three reference point is Trocadero and here's the view of the Eiffel Tower also on the gravel path like uh, location number two but the difference is because Trocadero is doing some construction here they've closed off this staircase which forces everybody to flow through this staircase so all the major traffic goes right along that path and there's no major traffic going through this path it leaves it relatively empty our wedding is going to be tomorrow and if this holds up this will leave us a pretty open area empty area for the ceremony it looks pretty promising i actually like this location better than the first one this is the line for the world famous louis vuitton now Louis Vuitton has stores everywhere, this is true. But here in Paris, this is their flagship store. This store is a store slash museum. See, there's two, how many levels of it? There's one, two, three, four, five levels of this place. I think three of them are accessible to the average person. I'm not sure, I have to take a look. I don't exactly, I'm not a Louis Vuitton expert or anything like that. Um, this place has the largest selection of Louis Vuitton. It, is also, it also doubles the museum for some of the older pieces. And there are some pieces here that you can exclusively only get in Paris and nowhere else in the world. So I'm definitely, definitely making it a priority to go in here. We already got Eunice lined up right there. And the one in the white scarf, Burberry scarf. We are inside. Oh, I'm sorry. Cheers. I've only 
always wanted to buy a, an item from the flagship Louis Vuitton store. Paris. Mm -hmm. We're at the famous Lottery on Champ Elysee. You gotta get to it. Now, this place is famous for its sweet treats, macarons. You know, I'm not sure if it's like the best macaron in the world, but it's certainly the most famous. Wow, this is a lot. There's nothing wrong with that. Probably do. 